Heath Ledger is, uh, well, one of the most promising actors on the scene internationally. He happens to be Australian, and he's only, well, not long, not really long back, when he came back this time from the States, because he's now living over there, he came back, the first thing he did was go to a service station and bought a pie. Uh, you're going to be... You're going to be desperate, haven't you? He bought a pie before he even went to see his mum. He lives in Perth, but he's here right now. Let's welcome Heath Ledger. <laughs> and Lavinia over here. Hey, Lavinia. Yeah. I got the story right so far. You lived in Perth up to about 18. Yeah. Then you, you suddenly got the urge. You thought, what made you think, right, Hollywood, bang. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think it was actually, I did a show called Raw for Universal Fox a while back. It was and, a series, uh, was it? A yeah, it was a television right. series. And uh, I don't know, it was kind of like my ticket over there. It gave me an opportunity to get an agent and stuff like that, and that's yeah. usually the hardest thing to get. So. Yes, and, and you were over there and you got the agent, which was terrific, yeah. and you think, right, Hollywood, here I come, and all of a sudden you found yourself... My first job's in Sydney. <laughs> yeah. so, so I came back and did that, and then uh, after that I went straight back to LA and then on to Seattle to shoot Ten Things, which is out now. Right. right. Yes, yeah, so Ten Things, I Hate About You I hate the about movie. You. Yeah. And uh, what, who's the girl? She's very good. good Julia lead. Stiles. Julia Stiles. Yeah. We have a little clip. This is, uh, this is you in the movie. Now, uh, just tell us basically what, what the movie's about before we see the clip. Um, all right, well, it's an adaptation of Taming of the Shrew. So it's basically there are two sisters. Uh, the younger one wants to date, the older one doesn't want to, and uh, the younger one can date when the older one dates. And so they go out and hire me to tame the uh, shrew. The wild one. Yeah. Yes. And here you are trying to, uh, well, you're just throwing the line at her in the midst of a very, very noisy nightclub. I was watching you out there before. I've never seen you look so sexy. <laughs> Come to Bogey's party with me. You never give up, do you? Was that a yes? No. Well, then, was that a no? No. I'll see you at 9.30, then. Opens in July, I think. And July 24th, 29th? 29th, July. 24th. Oh, excuse me. Heath, Heath, you just look a bit cold, mate. Some beanie and some gloves there. Too. That's very good of you, well, but Thanks, very good indeed. Okay. Um, so the film opens out here on the, in uh, July. You yeah. said 24th, and you had 29th down. I'll so have 29th got... on the release. Well, I'm pretty sure it's 24th. 24th. July, yeah. Okay. And uh, now th that wasn't the. We've got. Have we got an audio? We have a little. Oh. oh <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's all right. It was. I think it was. It wasn't even you. I think it was Russell. He just apologised. Uh, so, now, tell me about the one you, when you came back for, you, you, this was the one with Brian Brown, was it? Yeah, Two Hands. Two Hands. Tell us about that, because that's also opening soon. Yeah, uh, that's a, it's a black comedy set around the gangster life in Sydney and King's Cross. And oh, uh, right, I okay. play a spruik, you know, the guys who stand outside the uh, strip clubs? Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've um, heard of them. You've heard? <laughs> 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 yeah. And, um, yeah, and that's it. And uh, Brian kind of plays, he described his character as the godfather in thongs. The and Godfather and uh, Thongs. Yes, it's yeah. been described as a good fella or something in, yeah. in uh, uh, yeah. Goodfellas and Thongs. Yeah. Um, now, it, so you did that one, and then the, the one you, that's coming up is with Mel Gibson. Is that right? Yes. Um, it's called The Patriot. Yeah. And it's uh, it's a revolutionary. War. It's basically how America claimed their independence uh, from Britain and right. became a sole country. And it's a father-son story through the war. And yeah, he plays dad, and I play his son. And you're playing the, the the son of Mel. Is he one of your heroes, Mel? Yeah, he has. I mean. You know, he's, uh, he's an idol to everyone, I think, in the industry, because he's someone who went over there and he opened the door up and he made it possible, he showed us that it was, you know, possible to get an international market. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited. Now, your other thing, because you, you would have been, if you didn't get into acting and what have you, you would have pursued the, the hockey career a lot more? <laughs> I suppose so, yeah. I mean, I don't know, I was kind of, those two things were running as a parallel during my junior years. Uh, and, uh, you over that now? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if someone said to you, for instance, uh, because you were a very good hockey player and you represented uh, Western Australia, didn't yeah. you? But, yeah. yeah. Uh, if, uh, okay, you could win the gold medal in 2000 in Sydney with the Australian hockey team as a member of the team, or you could win an Academy Award in acting, which would you choose? Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, your, have to your time the starts now. Your time starts now. We'll be right back after this commercial break to find out where the heat... <laughs> yeah, where the heat will stay and go for the big money. No? Uh, it's a real hard one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a hard, tough decision. <laughs> There's a, there's a show called Mi a Millionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, just a we That's fell right. we, we fell into it. Sorry, Eddie. We didn't mean to fall into your show. Um, so that was that would still be a really perplexing question for you. Ah, uh, yeah, it would. It would. I don't know. I mean, they're well, both dreams I had as a kid, I suppose. But yeah. uh, I just chose this avenue. This was the path that I wanted to take in the end. So. Yeah. Well, it's working out uh, so far. It's really your mum must be very proud. And, she uh, is. Yeah. yeah. Hi, mum. By the way. She's and watching. Dad. Hopefully in Perth. Yeah. Uh, well, we hope that it goes on uh, to uh, bigger and better things for you. Uh, Thank you. And the sort of an upward path in Hollywood, which and a, a lot of movies being made out here because it's cheaper to make them in Australia. <laughs> yeah, I know. So you might find yourself out here uh, almost permanently. Yeah. Well, good luck, Heath. Anyway. Thanks, Dale. Well, let's uh, hear it for Heath Ledger. <laughs> Lavinia has got 